Hey YouTube, it's Keith Obviously, and as I can see from the title, today is going to be a skincare video as well as a frequently asked question in regards to my fitness, my body, um, and everything like that. First and foremost, I am going to start off with my skincare um, and basically how I am clearing up my acne. As you guys know, I do suffer from acne. Um, a little bit of background, I've had acne ever since like second grade, literally no lie. Second grade, um, I've been struggling with acne. I've never had it like really 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 huge cystic pimples but I've always had breakouts all over my face and um, things like that at first when I first started off I had um, what I used to call heat bumps or what was known as heat bumps but little bumps on my forehead um, was a big problem and then as I grew up or grew older I started to um, get pimples like along my cheek area and that's pretty much it I never really got pimples on my chin um, it was mostly like little bumps on my forehead and then I'll get larger ones um, on my cheek area. So that's a little bit of background. And when I was younger, I really didn't care too much. Not I didn't care too much, but um, it wasn't a big issue for me to try to clear my skin. I always thought that, you know, over time, everyone go through acne. Everyone in some stage goes through some point of acne or that's just what I thought. And um, I just really thought about just leaving it alone and just letting it clear up as I got older. Um, but as I continued to get older, I just saw that it was getting worse and worse and it was not clearing up. So I started to take measurements in my own hands and try to get my acne under control. So um, my older sister, I remember she had was prescribed an acne cream. It was a benzoyl peroxide. I believe it was a 10% one. And one time, um, I was just really frustrated with my skin. I put it on and it made my face so, so and flared. And ever since then, I think I really like damaged my skin from doing that um, because it was such a high percentage. And I actually found out that I was actually allergic to benzoyl peroxide. So I um, was allergic to benzoyl peroxide. So that was the first thing I did in regards to trying to clear my skin up was using my sister's prescription, trying to clear up my skin and actually made my skin worse and made my skin really, really red, really swollen, like it was weird. Um, so yeah, that was the first thing I did. After that, um, I really just tried to just, like I said, let it go on its own and not try to do too much to my skin. But then I started entering high school and stuff. I started getting more frustrated. I'm like, oh, I'm tired of having acne. I want this to hurry up. So I went to my doctor and she prescribed me some pills. I forgot what pills it was. It was a long time ago. But I did take the oral pill and that really didn't do too much for my skin. Um, and at that time she did um, prescribe me, um, I don't know how to say, clematisin. I will put the word down here because I do not, I do not know how to pronounce that word. I always get tongue tied. She prescribed it to me. It was like in a liquid form and it had like a sponge top and I was just dot it on my face and let it dry and do that. So um, she did that to me. I probably was like... 14, 15, and I didn't see a difference with that, so I stopped using that, and I stopped using the, the pills. I didn't see a difference with that. So, yeah, that's background, and on to now, what I've been using, and I've been using an array of stuff, and everything I've been using, I have seen a difference in my skin, so I'll show you guys everything, and I do um, want to put out there that, I, of course, I am not a doctor, I am not a dermatologist, and I definitely recommend if you do have any form of acne um, or anything like that, that you definitely do consult a doctor or dermatologist or anything before you use any of these products. But these are just things that I've used and what has worked for me. And yeah. So what I first started to use was um, I went on YouTube and I started to look up things like products to people who suffer from acne. What were they using? And um, I came across something I haven't used before, which was sulfur. So um, I forgot what YouTuber was it was a um, Hispanic YouTuber, but she was raving about this product. And I actually have it in my soap jar, but it's just a yellow um, sulfur soap. And I'll insert a picture so you guys can see the actual brand and the container it comes in. But this is a soap I was using for probably about six months, and I did see a tremendous difference in my skin. Um, it, people complain about the smell, but personally, the smell doesn't really bother me. Sulfur has been used, I believe it's by the Aztecs or the Mayans, one of them. And it's supposed to just be a, like, just something to clean your skin up, but it's really, really drying. So, in conjunction with the sulfur soap, what I was using was the sulfur ointment. And what you're supposed to do with these two products is, well, you're not supposed to, I don't know if you're supposed to use them together, but I was using them together. And um, you'll wash your face with the soap, you wash your face, lather it up, rub it on your face, and it says to wait about 10 minutes and then rinse. So that's what I would do. And then sometimes with the ointment, I would actually leave it on overnight and then just wash my face in the morning. So um, I did see a difference when using these two products. So if you have like really, 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 really moderate acne or like um, not that 
much acne i definitely recommend this and i definitely think this will help um, clear your skin up um with me it did make a difference it didn't clear my skin up as much as my skin is now but it did shrink some of my pimples definitely shrink the pimples and um, it did make a difference so these things are very very inexpensive they're both three dollars each so um yeah i definitely recommend them definitely, definitely after using that and i saw a slight difference i actually decided to actually go into go to my dermatologist again and say you know what i really need help um things i'm using they're working but not working like i would like them to so then i went to my dermatologist and she recommended some things which i'm going to show you now and these are the things i've actually been using um every day and this is these are the things that i believe has helped my skin smooth out and clear up as much as it has so currently what i do is in the morning i wash my face with just regular cetaphil cleanser um i did well i was using the off-brand one and i really don't like the off-brand one i definitely recommend the real brand cetaphil but um in the morning what I do is I wash my face with the Cetaphil cleanser. Once it's completely dry, I then go in and use another Clematisin gel um, and another Clematisin product. But this time this is the gel one and this was prescribed to me by my dermatologist. So this is what I'm using and this is what I'm using in the morning. So I wash my face with the Cetaphil, I wait and then I apply this to my skin. And then I wait again for about two minutes and after it's completely dry, I, I then go in and use my Cetaphil moisturizer. So this is what I do every day in the morning. At night when I get home, I just use regular dollar nine cents store makeup removers and take off all my makeup. And then after I take all my makeup off, I actually use the Cetaphil cleanser again just to make sure my face is completely clean. And then I use um, my Continuous Control Acne Cleanser. This is an off-brand, but it's supposed to be like this is supposed to be like Clean and Clear's Continuous Control um, Cleanser. And I got this from Kmart, but um, I use this at night and then I use my epidural. I use my epidural which is another prescribed um, medication for my dermatologist. I use this at night. So this is what I've been using currently and this has made a tremendous difference in my skin. I've been using this for three months already or yeah since January. I've been I've been on this regimen since January and my skin has truly cleared up a lot um and i can say that i wash my face every single day um there's only been three occasions literally three occasions in the last four months of me doing this regimen of me not washing my face so um i'm very very strict in regards to trying to make sure i'm clearing my skin up and washing my face and everything like that so these are the products i am using currently and would have made a difference in my skin sometimes if i feel like i'm doing too much to my skin what i would use is this mask and this is um the facial clay mask mint and lemon and this is just to like shrink your pores and just get all the gunk out so if i'm wearing, if i feel like i'm wearing makeup too much or something like that i would go in and use this mask and um yeah i really like this mask it's really, it smells really good and it's really really drying and pulls everything out and usually when i do use this mask i do get um, a couple pimples afterwards and um if they're big pimples what i use is my tea tree oil and this is just regular tea tree oil i got this from kmart as well so um, I use this to dry out my pimples and this definitely does dry out your pimples. So if you have huge pimples, um, I definitely recommend using this to dry them out. Another thing I just recently added back into my um, skincare regimen, and I just started doing this probably about two weeks now, is um, using exfoliant scrub. So this one I definitely recommend. This is the St. Ives Even and Bright Pink and Lemon Mandarin Orange Scrub. This one, it smells so good and the beads are not too thick so um, it won't really scratch your face too hard um, and make you like really irritated but I definitely love this scrub and I have been using this actually in the morning um, after I use my Cetaphil I'll use this and then I'll put on my acne medication so I've been using it and at night sometimes I've been using the apricot scrub. So these are another things that I've been using to help clear my skin. So again just to reiterate my holy girl products are my Cetaphil cleanser, my two prescribed medications that I got from my dermatologist and then just my 10% um, benzoyl peroxide face cleanser as well as I forgot my tea tree oil if you have a really stubborn huge pimple this will help dry it out and get it done um, down faster. So right now I'm going to zoom in this is in full HD so you have to see my skin currently I still do have some breakouts but like I said I am going to post pictures so you can see the difference my breakouts are not nearly as bad as um, they used to be.
So I'm going to zoom in. This is my cheek area. And then my forehead, I had like a lot of little pimples. And then my cheeks. I really don't have too many scars. But, um, or hyper hyperpigmentation or anything. It's mostly just like my pores are really big. And it makes my skin look rough. But my skin feels really, really smooth. So, yeah. I have no makeup on or anything. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much it in regards to my skincare. Um, I know this video is going to be pretty long, so I'm sorry in advance. But yeah, I have like a lot of stuff in regards to my skincare. So everything I show, I definitely do recommend. And I'll put all information again down below so you guys could get a better gist of things I recommend, things I've used, and stuff like that.